I'm Corey, and I'm talking about LiPo batteries today. These are the batteries that we use in the drift trikes and also in our um, electric version of the cruiser. They're great because they have very high energy density. The problem with them is they're a little tricky to keep them happy. There's a, um, a minimum and a maximum voltage level that you have to keep them between, otherwise it damages the cells. So we normally keep them charged on the smart charger over here, but we've had issues where the batteries aren't always disconnected when people are done using equipment, so they run down to nothing, which is really bad for the cells. It makes them swell up, um, and then we have to jump through some hoops to get them to recharge again. So we've done things like bumping them up on a dumb charger to get them to reach the minimum voltage needed for the smart charger to recognize the battery so it can take over. And there are some safety con concerns around that. So I'm in the process of putting together a battery policy of how we're going to handle that. We're also putting together a flame proof um, charging and storage card that we're going to keep the batteries on when we're charging them and storing them. So if one does run away, we can wheel it outside and let it burn itself into rubble outside of the building. Okay, so we've been charging the batteries here on top of this desk and normally doing it on this tray. The idea being if they catch on fire, it's a steel tray. Uh, the problem is the surface of the desk is rubber. Uh, the bumper is rubber. There's lots of flammable things here. There's a wall that we could set on fire. So we're going to be moving the entire charging process onto a steel cart that has nothing flammable on it. And we're going to keep that center of the room away from the walls, um, probably relatively close to a door. So if something runs away, we have the option of rolling it outside.